Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Dr. Amnula De Sondi, the Senior Lecturer in Contemporary Islam, the Study of Religions Department at the University College Cork. Good afternoon. Presiding Officer, we are all Jock Tamson's bairns. This saying continues to grow stronger in its ability to bring us together in Scottish society. In a world where divisions often lead to violence and death, we all seek ways of building bridges between us, no matter how large the perceived gulfs. It may have been this very Scottish tradition to bridge to the unknown that led me to the USA six years ago. Having just completed my PhD at Glasgow University, I was ready for a challenge and crossed the pond. The experience made me realise a lot more. Building bridges is a difficult business. Critical inquiry, such as we do in the academy, may lead to stronger bridges, but it can also make obvious the option of leaving a bridge well enough alone. It took me six years to realise that America was not the place I wanted to grow old as an academic. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed living there, but there came a point where I just could not bear being too far from Scotland. For the last six years, I have watched First Minister's questions. Being an academic, I've thought about these things a little too much. Reflecting on this room's structure, I see a semicircle of unity, a bridge, you might say, that brings together all the MSPs of this chamber. Yet they are far from united. Each party contributes to the glorious colours of the Scottish Parliament, but at the end of the day, each holds its own convictions. As an ethnically Pakistani Muslim, I hold the conviction that Islam is the correct path to God for me. But I understand that this particular bridge, a religious bridge, is not for everyone. I've come to rejoice in this predicament of our colours. The impulse must always be for constructing peaceful bridges between people. But surely that cannot mean losing sight of our own convictions. This is indeed the Scottish and the Pakistani way for me. The path of critical inquiry, those difficult questions that trouble even the existence of God, are the very foundations of the way we think and connect as Scots a way of thinking that builds upon our Scottish Enlightenment giants who taught us to build bridges but to hold strong to our convictions, even if they mark certain bridges as clearly outside our own individual paths. What's common to us all is that we have no use for flimsy connections. When superficial bridges are built, on platitudes and politically correct statements, they are of no use to humans or God. God bless Scotland. Thank you. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 136.